Hi guys and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Lab instructional videos. I am your host Dr. Russell Betts and I'll be guiding you through today's problem. Today we're working on example 7.2 calculating the concentration of a solution in molarity. Well, let's uh, look at this question carefully. Let's make sure we know what we have to do. Uh, these questions are usually pretty involved so let's go slow. What is the molarity, capital M, of a solution that was prepared by dissolving 2.100 grams of sodium bicarbonate to a final volume of 100.0 milliliters. Okay, let's grab a pen and let's circle some things that are important. First of all, we have to calculate molarity. So let's circle that and let's just real quick write down capital M equals mole solute over liters of solution. Oops. All right, so it's the moles of a solute divided by the total volume of the solution in liters. Was prepared by dissolving 2.100 grams of sodium bicarbonate. That's probably going to be important because we know from the formula we have to calculate moles of solute. Uh, and here's the formula for sodium bicarbonate. That's going to be very important too to a final volume of 100.0 milliliters. So now we know the volume. The volume is given, but it's not given in, in liters, it's given in milliliters. So the first thing we should do, because it seems like the easiest thing to do, is take the volume and instead of um, expressing it in milliliters, just change it to liters. So we know that milliliters multiplied by something puts milliliters on the bottom, liters on the top will give us liters. Milliliters cancel. There are 1,000 milliliters in one, mil in one liter, and we're starting with 100.0 milliliters. So that's going to give us 100 divided by 1,000, 0 0.1000 liters. Four sig fig, four sig fig. Make sure you keep careful track of your significant figures. So we now know that this value will go here. So we have one of our uh, variables in the molarity calculation. Now we need to know how many moles there are. Now, we don't know, because the question doesn't tell us, we don't know how many moles of sodium bicarbonate we have, but we do know the mass. And we know that we have 2.100 grams. And we know that sodium bicarbonate is NaHCO3. With that data, we can calculate how many moles we have. We just have to first calculate the molar mass of NaHCO3. Now let's take a few minutes and learn how to do that. First of all, from the chemical formula, we know that we have one times sodium, one times hydrogen, one times carbon, three times oxygen. If you want to calculate molar mass, we need to know the atomic mass of each atom or ion inside this molecule. So that means I have one times sodium. Uh, I don't happen to know the molar mass of sodium. We'll look it up. Uh, hydrogen I do know. One times 1.01 .01 grams per mole. Carbon I also know. One times 12.01 .01 grams per mole. And oxygen I know. 3 times 16.00 grams per mole. So to find sodium, I have to look on a periodic table. Luckily for me, I have one right here. And there's sodium, element number 11. Molar mass is 22.99. So let's go back. So it's going to be 1 times 22.99 grams per mole. Now, what we're going to do is multiply everything out and then add. So grab your handy dandy calculator and it's going to be 3 times 16 it's going to be 48 plus 12.01 plus 1.01 plus 22.99 so the total mass is going to be 84.01 grams per mole. All I did was I multiplied the 3 to the 16 and then I added everything else to it. So I had to multiply the oxygen by three. So if you didn't get the same number as me, that's probably where you went wrong. 
Okay, so now we know the molar mass of sodium carbonate. We can finally calculate the moles of sodium carbonate. So we start with grams. Let me just change colors. We start with grams. We're going to multiply that by something to give us mole. So we know that this has to cancel, so we have to put the same unit down here. And the mole will go up there. Now, notice down here in the conversion factor, 84.01 goes with the G. So the 84.01 will go here, the number 1 will go there. And then 2.01 will go here. 0, 0 grams, okay? Grab your calculator again, 2.100 divided by 84.01 equals. And the calculator, of course, gives me a string of numbers, 0 0.02499702. We have to round that. Four sig figs, four sig figs, exact. Okay, so we have to round this number to four sig figs. So here's my fourth significant figure. The next digit is a seven, so that becomes a ten. That becomes a ten, so that becomes a five. Equals 0 0.02500 mole. So that's how many moles of sodium carbonate we have. Now, if you didn't understand the rounding there, um, please take a closer look at it. And if you still don't understand it, come on by and see me. Uh, I can explain it more to you in person, or you can go ask a tutor at the Academic Success Center. They're there to help you as well. Now, all we have to do now is put the moles over the liters, and we have molarity. So one final step, molarity equals mole solute divided by liters solution. And here we go. 0 0.02500 mole, divide that by 0 0.1000 liters, equals, grab your handy dandy calculator if you need to, divide it by 0.1 equals 0 0.2500 mole per liter, or, let me see if I can squeeze it in down here, 0 0.25 zero zero capital M. Both answers are acceptable because both are saying the same thing. It's just one has the capital M which represents moles per liter or you can just write out moles per liter. Depends on what you like to do. Now this question was very involved. There's a lot of steps going on. There's some things that I kind of brushed over that I assumed you knew. Uh, if you don't know or you don't understand, watch the video again. Try to solve it on your own. If not, come on by the office and see me or go to the Academic Success Center and talk to one of the many tutors over there that are ready, willing, and able to assist you in this problem. This is a pretty fundamental thing in chemistry, so please don't hesitate to seek help. Now, with that, I'd like to wish you good luck and good chemistry.